Hey you guys, it's Pumpkin LPN, and I'm going to do a quick cooking video for you. My eight-year-old son is shooting the camera. Say hi. Hi. So if it's a little shaky, forgive him. What we're going to make today is three envelope chicken. This is one of my favorite recipes. It's quick, it's simple, it's easy, and it is a mother's dream because it tastes like you spent a long time in the kitchen. All you did was pour all this stuff into a pot and leave. So, three envelope chicken come, it's basically made out of three things that come in an envelope. You need a pack of ranch dressing, you need a pack of Italian dressing, and you need a pack of chicken gravy. Now, these uh, seasonings can be combined to, for any kind of meat. So, you can use the ranch dressing, the Italian dressing, and if you want to do it with turkey, use turkey gravy. If you want to do it with beef, use beef gravy, pork, etc. So, this is an all-around, um, all-around uh, recipe. Mushrooms. And you can omit the mushrooms. This is just my extra flavor to it. Of course, you need a nice fat chicken. And you need some, you don't need this, but I do it because I like to make um, rice and I pour this on the gravy on top. Um, it's really not a gravy, it's more like, you know, college juice. I pour in some chicken broth, and this is college and fat-free, light, 50% less sodium chicken. Excuse my baby singing in the background. What are you pointing at? Are you pointing at me? Okay. Looked like he wasn't pointing at me. So, like I said, I mixed all the seasoning up into here, because I like to mix it together before I pour it on top of the chicken. So now we're going to assemble this. So what you do is uh, you get something to. You gotta put your chicken into the crock pot. Like so. Get a shot of the chicken. And what you're gonna do is you're going to sprinkle your seasoning on top. And I actually Lift it up. Chris, don't shoot down the chicken. I know that's exactly what you're doing, aren't you? <laughs> and you just want to sprinkle this all over the chicken. I throw a little bit on the inside of it. I don't know if it went in there. Right into the cavity of the chicken. And you're just going to pour this all around. Next what I do is I take my mushrooms and I put them right on top. Because I like my mushrooms to cook down so that they're in the gravy and the kids don't realize that they are in the gravy. You're not doing like a real close up are you? No I'm not trying. And then just add some chicken broth. I'm trying not to splatter it and brush the seasoning off of the chicken. So I'm going to use about a half a cup. That's it. Put the lid on. You can point back to me. Put the lid on. I'm going to set it on low because I'm going to be out all day. So that by the time I get back, my chicken will be done. And when it's done, I'll show you the final product. Okay? Stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This is six hours later. And this is what our chicken looks like. Um, my legs fell off, of course. And... If you can see it or not, what is left in the crock pot. And with it, I'm having corn and I'm having brown rice. And it's not ready yet, though. So, just thought I'd show you before I play it up.